Hey everyone, welcome back. And for this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use Deezers with Shopify and how we can use it to start drop shipping. All right, so before we start, let me just explain drop shipping for those who are just starting with this. So, drop shipping is when a person or company sells goods on their website that they do not really keep in stock. Now, what Deezers helps you do is to find different items from different suppliers and it helps you make sure that the items are in stock and it also helps you to add them to your website or to your store. Now Shopify is where you can put your items for display. People can browse your items and make their purchases through Shopify. So with drop shipping, Deezers and Shopify, you can have your own store, sell your items, and run your business just a bit more efficiently. Now going to the actual tutorial, first you will need to log in to your Shopify account. So if you do not have one yet, then be sure to create your account and log it in. This is where we'll start our tutorial. All right, so once we have finished creating an account or logging in, then we can just search for Deezers because this is the specific app that we are going to use for this tutorial. Now what we will select here is the Deezers AliExpress dropshipping. As you can see, it has a lot of reviews because it is very popular with dropshippers. As for the developers, we are looking for the app that is developed by Deezers themselves. And now here are the pricing categories for us to use. We have here the basic option which is free to install so that is very much good to know. And then we can pay around 20 bucks per month for the advanced option or around $49.9 per month for the pro version. So we just need to install the app and to do that, let me just scroll up and click on install. Now let me just select install app again and we will be redirected to the Deezer's website. Now we can either create an account or to register yourself. After this, then we can just select our plan that we want for this tutorial let me just use the basic option so select get started and for the next step we will just have to select and link to our supplier which in this case is aliexpress so we will be needing an account for aliexpress in this case so if you do not have an account yet then please make sure to register we can also just link our Google account to the AliExpress account when we are creating one and I'll be showing that later. We link our accounts by just clicking on this AliExpress logo and now we just wait for it to finish loading. So right here we connect our Google account when signing up by clicking the Google logo and selecting I agree. Of course make sure to read all of these text and then clicking on authorize. It will load up for a bit, but it should be ready very quickly. And now we should be good to go. Right now we are in Deezers and we can actually start importing products. So we just close this ad by clicking on the arrow button, but we can also click on the free try. It depends on what we want. So here we have just a bunch of tutorials on how to start drop shipping. For example, it highlights here the how to import products. But we are going to do it our own way. So one way to do this is to click on your import list and then you can actually go to your my products section and then you can click on import Shopify products. But what matters here is that we click on the Find Suppliers button on the left side. Clicking on it will show you this page where you can see all the products that we can add to our store. As an example, let me click on this pen right here. 
this is the store page on AliExpress and what we can do here is we can just click on this button add to import list so that it will automatically appear on our import list another way to do this is by copying the URL of a product on AliExpress so let me go on the AliExpress website what is being shown here are the different products that we can import from AliExpress so as an example let me choose this thumb drive so new USB 3.0 pen drive 2 terabyte high speed pen drive etc etc what we can do here is that we can just go and select the URL of the product copy it go back to the Deezer's web page select import list and here is where we can paste the URL of our product I click the push to store this will be important later now we just press OK after pasting the URL click on the checkbox press OK again and it will load and now we have our product in here all right so now we have our product appearing in our import list the next step we are going to do is that we are going to click on the push to store button right here and then we will be shown the different options here so first we have to select our store and then we have different preferences here we can just proceed here but i am going to explain the different options that we have so for example we have continue selling when it's out of stock we can also check if we want to publish to our online store but i am not going to check the continue selling when out of stock because that will be difficult now let me click on push to store and our product should reflect by now on our shopify store so to do that, let me go back to my Shopify, select products, and as you can see here on this list, we have our USB product. So we can just click on this, and then we can edit the different parts of our, of our product listing. We can change the name of our products to add some images or to add some metadata you know everything you can change everything here including the price product descriptions specifications the variants of your product you can edit everything here but for this tutorial we are going to keep things simple so for example i want to change the name of my product let me just highlight everything and delete it and replace it with USB 3.0 pen drive 2 terabyte high speed drive that should be good and now we can also change our prices here so for example I want to change this to around five pesos and this one to around seven you can also see here the number of available items and the number of items which are on hand scrolling to the bottom will let you see how it will look like on the search engine now we can also add our variant if you want to add a variant of the product but once we are done then we just click on save so what i have just shown you was one way to do it another way to do it is by something that is called a supplier optimizer and to start using it we just go back to our deezer's web page click on supplier optimizer and here you can find similar products by uploading an image or the url link so for this one let me just select the same product copy the url and to paste the URL on the box provided. We just press enter or the button. 
and here we are shown and here we are shown the different products that are available at different prices and also available from different suppliers so we can compare here the prices and the sale number the ratings it is a good tool for evaluating which supplier and which product is the best when it comes to selling as another example let me search for a different product to be put to the supplier optimizer let's wait until it finishes loading and for this one let me select this laptop usb cover thing so same procedure as before let us copy the url and then paste it on the supplier optimizer let's press the button or press enter and then it will search for different products at different prices for different suppliers so we can click on the import list here and we can add the product that we just mentioned earlier then we can just click on push to store to publish our items we can also quickly edit the name and the description of our products by clicking here on edit products and we can just make changes to the title so for this one let me remove this portion right here and then we can add which collection it is we can check which variants the description images and the shipping info so let us just push save and then we can push it to the store and then once it finishes loading up then we can expect it to appear in our Shopify store let's wait until it finishes being published and then we can check on our Shopify page or Shopify store if it has reflected so going back to Shopify selecting products and we can see that the product is there please be sure to like comment subscribe thanks everyone for watching hope you learned a lot and we'll see you in the next one